What is going on guys? Today we have got some more upgrades in 75 plus player picks. They are one of two and I'm interested to see what they actually require you to do. So we've got eight exact players, all of them having to be gold. So in terms of it, we've got to give up commons. We don't really need to give up rares for this, which is fair enough in terms of the grinding aspect. Let's have a look and see what one's worth because the problem we've had at the minute, especially with upgrades, is they just have not been given out. And I think that is across the board. I've done 50 of the 80 plus on the first week. I did a handful the second time. And I think we ended up with not even enough to do one squad of an SBC. So I'm kind of hoping these are better, but one of two 75 plus notoriously are never that good. Watch me get Ronaldo or not. Just get a duplicate 82. So in terms of it, I... Don't know how many you'd be worth willing to do for this, but it is grindable. That is going to be the good thing about it. If you've got any sort of duplicate players, we have got somewhere to put them. And I must admit, I do prefer picks to some extent. A, you don't have to give up the full 11. And B, you can pick out of the two. If you've got them duplicate, then fair enough, there's not a lot you can do. But if you get one duplicate card back, like we saw there with our 82. I don't know if we, yeah, we get him here. We can put him back and technically we only then need seven players. I would always try and use rares as much as possible. Oh, not rares, untradables as much as possible. Because naturally, you don't want to be given out as uh, kind of your tradable cards in case you want to sell them. Or if you get them duplicate at some point then you can change them out and sell them on the market then second one any better i mean we get one that's not duplicate i suppose that's a big dub but also another way to kind of keep this grind alive we have now got uefa marquee matchups and also a trailblazer five so this is going to be the perfect point when it comes to this we've got minimum tw uh, 22 one uh, gold the same country five Plays from the same league, four, clubs four. Okay, th that's pretty easy to do. Give me a second. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Oh, nice and easy to get done. Just a Bundesliga team. That one's going to be as easy as you can get. Again, going to give you more players to put back in. Whether it's tradable is the kind of next question. But doing all of the SBCs possible. For instance, we do have UEFA marquee matchups, which is a rare, what was that, a rare Electrum? Rare mix player. Then also you get small prime gold, prime electrum. So again, we've got 75 and 77 rated team. You don't want to be doing all of the 75 pluses and then having to go to it because you don't want to be buying anybody. That's going to be the big thing. With the first one, it is a jumbo premium gold. It is tradable, so you could get something from it. We're going to get Hoiberg. Hoy oh, maybe not. Who on earth is this? 79 rate. Oh, Delaney, of course. So we've got Belgium, but again, more players to go back into the SBC. So we just get rid of all of the rubbish. We don't really need anything else here. And then we'll just put these up. Again, tradable cards. I don't know whether they go up for this or not. Mainly commons, if anything. I don't think rares move just purely for the fact that we don't need them as much. So in terms of SBCs, that's going to be the first place I would go to grind this out. Have a look what you've got left to do. If you've got any player SBCs you want to finish, because naturally, if you do get them, you get some packs back and you're not going to be putting 84, 85s into this SBC. We then also have, I think it's mainly just the challenges. Pretty sure we have Trailblazer 5. We have normal marquee matchups still and UEFA marquee matchups. Other than that, I think that is all we've got unless you've not done foundations yet. But that's all of the SBCs you can do. So that's number one, especially when we don't have league SBCs at this moment in time to get the job done. Next up, I'd say moments. If you've not finished any of them, there are still plenty to do there. Weekly on the on the Frenzy, you've got the World Tour, you've got Milestones, Journey, and also Foundations to get all of the packs. If you've not bothered with any of them, this could be the time to start grinding a few. Get them out if you want to get even the tokens and maybe don't want to buy the packs then they do go over for the next time as well so if you have 200 stars or 200 points you don't have to necessarily use them you could buy the rare player pack 
and that is it. You could wait until the next one in 10 days time. So that's going to be another one in terms of more gameplay side of stuff. Then I'd say another one that you could do might take a little bit more time is your season pass or just general objectives. Your Trailblazer Cup, Team Pursuit, uh, Palacios if you've not finished him, another Team Pursuit. You've got Evo Lounge, Evolutions Expert, plus all of the milestones and foundations if you haven't finished them as well. Again, more packs to give or even some more coins every now and then. May not be the greatest, like in general, you've got to do 200 squad battle wins, but if you're already nearly there, have a look, check out. We've got rivals, we've got 10 more, and we get a 100k pack. So there is a lot to be getting done there, regardless if you've got objectives. And then finally, the kind of way that you can grind it without having to play gameplay or anything is unfortunately going to be upgrades. And when I always do this in terms of the Blanc SBC or David Beckham, the main thing is with these upgrades at the moment, they aren't requiring a full 11, which is always nice. So when it comes to the upgrade sort of packs, you want to be looking at the bronze and silver. The gold upgrades don't really apply to this now if you are doing the 75 upgrade. If you are still wanting to do the gold upgrade because naturally you get two players for 11 rather than one pick for eight, which technically does work out better in the long run. But in terms of the argument for that, one gives you no choice and the other gives you a one or two. It will depend on what you want to go with. We'll do another upgrade anyway to have a look and see if the third one is the best. But they're going to be your best starters. So bronze packs into the bronze upgrade into the silver. You only technically need to do two silver upgrades per, well, technically free, but you'll get one taken over. But what you could do is do two silver upgrades and then buy the other two. And then obviously you've got one left over potentially if you get a duplicate or someone you don't want to. For instance, we got Becca. He would happily just go back into the SBC if we didn't have a full club store. But if you wanted to just do it naturally, two silver upgrades, buy two players, give it a go that way. It's going to be more efficient and quicker if you do that. And naturally, the, the kind of final way is just buying the cards. It, it may not be the most pretty because obviously we don't really want to be spending too many coins on all of this. But you can go and buy them if you really wanted to. We'll have a look at the price in a second. But I think personally... It isn't necessarily worth using your coins. And judging from the first two, a 78 and 82, and that's really about all we've got to show for it. Third one up, I, I just don't see the, the kind of appeal to these. With them being one of two, I just don't think you're going to get really anything. And it's unfortunate that upgrades have been like this the whole time now. It is just one of them things that we haven't quite got into the fodder zone. It seems like we're very much kind of herded into buying promo packs to get fodder to be able to do cards rather than just naturally being able to upgrade cards from just playing the game it, it seems like we don't ever have enough to finish all of these SBCs without really grinding and getting lucky with gold upgrades or player picks or just naturally getting very lucky for coins to then buy players to then finish the SBC it is unfortunately that circle that you go into and it all depends on do you hit the jackpot or not we're going to get an 84 in this one. Again, we've got them duplicates, so 84s are not going to do too much. Realistically, we're looking for 85 and above, which is most definitely a harder thing to do this year than you'd imagine. But I do think there is an argument between the player picks and gold upgrade. Naturally, the gold upgrade will give you more cards back. And as the player pick is a 75+, plus, they almost have that same rate. Yes, you can pick between the two, but if one of if both are duplicate anyway, you might as well have gone for the gold upgrade as well. So I get the theory behind that, and I do see why. If the picks were absolutely goated, then that's fair enough. But unfortunately, I don't think they will be. So it is one of them. So I'd just keep doing your challenges as much as you can. The way I grind the upgrades rather than just absolutely sending the whole club into them unless i see that they're actually doing really well i won't really bother touching them unless i get duplicates in an sbc or a pack later on down the line because naturally i will put eight players into it but only when i get duplicates it keeps my club alive and making sure that i've got enough fodder for anything a marking matchups a random sbc and it saves me in the long run for doing that and it kind of just sacrifices maybe not doing every single player. But naturally, you should be able to grind the game out pretty well. Let me know down below if this did help or if you've got a different method in mind. Let me know if you did get anything from marking matchups or the picks as well. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.